All right, here we're going to look at some examples of rewriting fractions as decimals. And if we have to, we'll round off. All right, basically to write a fraction as a decimal, you just do long division. Uh, that's kind of the whole, the whole trick. Okay, so we've got 7 over 8, 7 divided by 8. So again, we can write that as well, 7 divided by 8. And I'm going to go ahead and write 7. I'm going to add in some, uh, some decimal places. So I'm going to write this as 7.000, tens, hundreds, thousandths, maybe one more place in case we have to round. Okay, so usually if, it, if somebody doesn't say round to a certain place, I'll just put some number of zeros down, and if I need more, I'll add more. So... Okay, so 8 will go into 7 0 times. So 0 times 8 is 0. Again, we can just subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7. And we'll drop down our 0. So now I think 8 will go into 70 how many, you know, how many times without going over. Well, let's see. I guess 8 times 8 is 64. I think that's going to work. And again, we just subtract. 70 minus 64 will leave us with 6. We can drop down our 0. So now let's see, 8 will go into 60, I guess, 7 times. 7 times 8 will be 56. And again, we can subtract 60 minus 56 will leave us with 4. Drop down our next 0. Well, 8 will go into 40 exactly 5 times. And now 5 times 8 would be 40. We could subtract, we would get 0, but then we would just simply drop down, you know, our next 0, and we would say, well, 8 goes into 0, 0 times, and we would just now start getting zeros forever and ever and ever. Or again, since there's no remainder, that tells us that we have a fraction that we can write using a decimal representation where the decimal terminates. So in this case, again, we just keep the decimal place exactly lined up. So it says we can write 7 over 8 as the decimal 0 0.875.